Hello everyone and welcome to your Love, Lust, or Loss reading for April 10th through the 16th. Um, this is not live. This is a pre-recorded premiere. Um, a lot of people still having trouble with the live streaming. So uh, until the powers that be figure all that out, um, we're going to be doing some pre-recorded premieres. Okay. Um, for those of you that are new, this we do Love, Lust, or Loss on Fridays. And um, yeah, we go down the Zodiac. We start with Libra and work our way down and do little mini reads. So Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. <laughs> um, if you'd like to follow along, Google a list of the Zodiac. Um, if not, I'll be in the chat to help you along. And uh, probably a moderator or two will be in the chat to help you along. Okay, keep everybody on track. So we do individual reads, little mini reads for each sign and, and see, you know, how things are going. All right, so let's get started, shall we? This is for Libra. Love, lust, or loss for Libra. Love, lust, or loss for Libra. April 10th through the 16th. Love, lust, or loss for Libra. Love, lust, or loss for Libra. What is going on? Love, lust, or loss for Libra. Okay. We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, and we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So this person wants a chance, obviously. Wants to work on a situation. Um, there's a lot of... Um, I feel like they, they miss the, the fun times that the two of you um, have shared together. So let's see where this is going. Libra. Love, lust, or loss for Libra. Card for you, card for them. The outcome, keep in mind, the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon rising Venus. Love, whoops, love, lust, or loss for Libra. April 10th through the 16th. Love, Lust or loss for Libra, for Libra. Okay, they don't know how you feel about them. Um, they're watching, and when the time is right, they're going to move forward here. Okay, they're going to move forward towards you. Um, they they have they have enjoyed your energy in the past okay with this playfulness card they have enjoyed your energy in the past and um they want to enjoy that energy again <laughs> okay um they know that the two of you would just uh groove really well together let's put it that way um and they want a shot here they want a chance all right and they they're watching you um, they're spying on you, seeing what you're up to. And you can tell me that you have blocked them on social media. There's other ways to spy on somebody other than social media. Social media has not always been around. Okay. Um, they could be cross watching your tarot videos. They could have, if you have blocked them, they could have, um, created a fake account to try to see what you are up to on social media. I mean, there's several different ways, but I do feel like this person lives at a distance from you. So they're watching and they don't know how you feel about the situation because they see you, I feel, as very mysterious and you're keeping your emotions kind of hidden anyway. All right. And I feel like they have hidden emotions for you. Like you wouldn't know this was going on with this moon card here. So, um, a lot of uh, hidden feelings going on between the two of you. Uh, things that have not been spoken 
just yet. Uh, so you could be dealing with a Pisces or somebody with strong Pisces in their chart. Um, like I said, I do feel like there's physical distance here between the two of you, like different city, states, that kind of thing. Uh, when everything is said and done, especially with the state of everything that we're in, there's going to be some sort of a travel here, traveling to see you. Um, and maybe you're traveling to where they are and they're going to create a, uh, a run in, right? Um, just a thought there that popped in my mind. There's going to be a victory here. All right, they, this person wants victory and they want forward movement. You could be dealing with a cancer or somebody with strong cancer in their chart. The outcome, king of wands, definitely could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart. Um, but they, they want to go after what they want. Right now, they feel a bit hindered. They feel a bit hindered um, for more reasons than just distance or the state of everything that's going on in the world. There's more to it. They feel a little bit, they feel... Um, hindered right now. So we have the King of Wands. Um, it's only a matter of time before this person comes after you, Libra, uh, because they're very passionate and attracted to you. That is the energy of the King of Wands. So love, lust, or loss um, for Libra. I'm going to call it lust for now. And when the two of you finally collide and, and see each other face to face, we'll go from there. <laughs> we'll see what develops, Libra. All right. Let me pause that. Okay, Scorpio. Love, lust, or loss for Scorpio. For Scorpio. Love, lust, or loss for Scorpio. April 10th through the 16th. Love, lust, or loss for Scorpio. Love, lust, or loss for Scorpio. For Scorpio. Okay. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you and free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So... I do feel like there's hesitation here, um, and I do feel there's red, <laughs> there's red flags popping up all over this. You you seem to be in a toxic cycle that you need to. Um, the word is I want to say is like escape from to to move away from to get out of here. All right, it's time. Um, hesitation there though, but let's see what's going on. All right, this is for. Scorpio. Love, lust, or loss for Scorpio. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. If it does not resonate, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Love, lust, or loss for Scorpio. Love, lust, or loss for Scorpio, for Scorpio. Quiet, you've went quiet. A lot of major arcana here. Okay, um, there's going to be some sort of a message coming in. Uh, you, you really holding back. Um, I feel like the, the Scorpio silent treatment is in full effect for some of you because you've went very quiet. And you're holding back a lot of emotion and anger right now with the strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with strong Leo in their chart, okay? Um, I feel like this is you. I feel like you are trying to withdraw your energy from a toxic cycle and try to trying to heal from it and move forward. That's what's in your mind, okay? And you're, you're being strong in doing this, okay? And you're trying to heal and take back control of your life. You could be dealing with um, a Virgo or somebody with strong Virgo in their chart. The other person in this equation, you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus or somebody with strong Libra and Taurus in their chart. They still see the potential for growth here. They still see that things could work out, right? 
if they just nurture the situation and care for the situation, they think they can fix it. Um, you're going to be hearing from this person, okay? Um, it's, it's slow, it's sincere, it's just a small message. Hey, how are you, Scorpio? How have you been? Are you holding up okay? That kind of a thing, Page of Pentacles. I don't know if you're going to answer this message because you're trying to get away from this situation. And this is where these red flags are coming in. This is why you're cautious. You really don't know what it what's behind this message i mean i feel like you know intuitively that this person still wants the situation to grow with you um but you're very cautious red flags all over this one i simply don't know um some of you may answer that text or phone call a lot of you will not because you're trying to heal from this and move on but just know scorpio that some sort of a message is coming in and there's a lot behind it um, it's up to you, um, on what you want to do with this right now in, in your state of mind, I'm going to call it a loss for the other person. Okay, Scorpio. Sagittarius. Love, lust, or loss for Sagittarius. Love, lust, or loss for Sagittarius. April 10th through the 16th. Love, lust, or loss for Sagittarius. What is going on? Love, lust, or loss for Sagittarius. Again, with this free yourself and separation. Okay, so you are trying, uh, Scorpio, just got this, free yourself. It's time to take control back of your life. You're trying to move forward from toxic cycles. There is physical and emotional distance between you and this person. So let's see what develops here with this tarot. What is going on? Why is this coming up? Because I already feel like the two of you are not together. Um... Love, lust, or loss for Sagittarius. Love, lust, or loss for Sagittarius. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Love, lust, or loss for Sagittarius. Love, lust, or loss for Sagittarius. They want to fix it. Are you dealing with a Scorpio? A Scorpio just got this. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm fine. Don't, nobody panic. I'm okay. Um, the Empress here. There is still the potential for growth. In this situation this person doesn't know how you feel they don't know how you feel you don't know that they're getting ready to make a move a bold move an unexpected move wanting to fix things okay so we got the Empress here I feel Sagittarius you're very concentrated on you right now and moving forward and your own personal growth your spiritual growth um, right here you could be dealing with a Libra you could be dealing with a Taurus this person, um, I feel while you are busy working on you and improving mind, body, spirit, I feel, right? You're very focused on yourself right now with this eight of pentacles. I feel like this person is going to be coming back around and wanting to fix the situation with you. And then they are. it's going to be... Are they going to be honest? I feel yes, but it's going to be very unexpected. You're not going to be expecting this. Like I said at the beginning, the two of you are not already together. You are already like you have freed yourself from this. And you are concentrating on you and your own personal growth here. They are coming back around. I guess they thought Sagittarius, you were just supposed to be sitting around crying for him all the time. Right? I just don't think they thought you were going to pick yourself up and concentrate on you and, and keep it moving forward. Uh, that's the vibe that I'm getting. So they're going to be coming back around unexpectedly. 
they probably said some harsh words to you. They probably, you really, really thought that it was over, but they just, it's not over yet. To them. What's going to happen here? Um, we got the Pisces moon. Okay, you could be dealing with a Pisces or somebody with strong Pisces in their chart. Um, that's, it's a bit of a mystery. This person is going to throw your emotions into kind of a spin, okay? And they know how to do that, so be careful with that. Um, I still feel like they're harboring some sort of secrets here with this moon card. Um, hidden, is it a hidden agenda? Why are they back? You're going to have to figure that out. What's going on here, really? That's what I feel. Um, it's up to you and what you want to do with this. I just feel like um, there is the potential for growth here should you want it. And they will try to fix it. But something's up. Something's up here, Sagittarius. So you're going to have to dig a little deeper. Is it, is it they still have, you know, secret hidden emotions for you? That could be it. Are they still harboring secrets? Are they still harboring secrets? Are they are they going to be honest, completely 100% honest with you with this Nine of Swords? What's going on here? It's a, and and they have a way of spinning things sometimes. Okay, so Sagittarius, um, love, lust, or loss? Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. I'm gonna have to call it. Um, a loss but for the other person there is the potential for growth here should you choose to accept it should you choose to accept this um, unexpected communication from this person okay but for now I'm gonna call it a loss we'll see how it goes Capricorn love lust or loss for Capricorn April 10th through the 16th love lust or loss for Capricorn love lust or loss for Capricorn oops okay oh okay somebody's trying to shoot some arrows of love at you all right, you deserve love. You are lovable, Capricorn, so that's nice. I think somebody's trying to get your attention. Between this visual here and then the flirt card, extend your lighthearted energy to others. We got some sort of chemistry brewing here between the two of you. This one, um, uh, I, think they, I think they want a little bit more than just flirty. Let's see what's going on. All right. Capricorn, love, lust, or loss for Capricorn. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. If it does not resonate, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Love, lust, or loss for Capricorn. Love, lust, or loss for Capricorn. For Capricorn. Oh. Nice. Ooh. So much major arcana popping out today. This is big stuff. Well, I mean, we just had the, the, the Libra full moon. So I'm, yeah, energies are still... A little bit wild. Okay, so we got the lovers here. You could be dealing with Gemini or somebody with strong Gemini in their chart. Following your heart here. Following your heart. Somebody's waiting for you. They want more. They want more. Okay, so you may have... You, Capricorn, may have a choice between two lovers. And somebody's waiting on you to make that decision. But... For most of you, I just feel like somebody's just waiting for you to follow your heart here, okay? 
you, I mean, there's a chemistry between you and this person. The fire is there. They want more. They think you deserve more and they want to give you more. Um, you're kind of like this, okay? You're changing. Everything's changing for you. And in, in a good way, in a positive way. And I feel this is kind of like a Jesus take the wheel moment. Whatever the universe wants, it, that's what's going to happen. Um, so it's not like you're just kind of going with it right now. Um, this person's waiting for you to come towards them. This, they're waiting for you to come towards them so that they can give you more. It, but it's, it's kind of up to you to follow your heart on this one. Um, so they look out into the future and they see you, Capricorn, Three of Wands. They want to start planning things. The High Priest is here. Now, one or both of you could be a very intuitive person. Um, I strongly feel like it's you, Capricorn. But anyway, um, you have some hidden decisions, hidden feelings, hidden things that you need to deal with here. You need to not only follow your heart, but your intuition in regards to this person. Okay? But they're waiting for you. They're wanting to give you more. The chemistry's strong here. I'm going to say lust for now. But they want more. They want more. They just don't know what you want, basically. Um, if you want more. Um, so love, lust, or loss for Capricorn. I'm going to call that lust. For now. For now. Okay, Aquarius, love, lust, or loss for Aquarius, love, lust, or loss for Aquarius, Aquarius, what is going on, this is for April 10th through the 16th, love, lust, or loss for Aquarius okay pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so you're being very cautious here engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment what are the red flags why are you being cautious let's figure this out all right is it just you or is it are you just kind of guarded right now a little closed or what's going on here is your radar going off about something? Um, this person wants uh, a higher level of commitment with you, but the, it's proven to be a little bit more difficult because there's resistance here. So let's see what's going on. Love, lust, or loss for Aquarius. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Love, lust, or loss for Aquarius. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. If it does not resonate, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Aquarius out there. Love, lust, or loss for Aquarius. Love, lust, or loss for Aquarius. That's why you're hesitant. This person loves you. You're still focused on the past. That's why there's resistance. So, this person is willing to take it as slow as you need it to go, but they got offers for you and they know you're not ready to receive it. They feel that resistance from you. So this is a slow moving situation and it's because you've been severely hurt before in the past, plain and simple. So they got offers and they know it's going to take you some time to accept it, to trust them, to um, know that they're sincere, but they, they want a higher level of commitment with you. So slow moving, and that's fine, right? Nine of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is you still still dealing with some past issues, and that's why you are kind of emotionally unprepared for something serious right now. You're still hurting from past situations. Um, somebody out there really did a number on you, Aquarius, and so you're resistant. 
you're resistant to be open. And I think this was very much in your how do they feel about you reading, wasn't it? Or was it your monthly? I can't remember. Ten of Swords, this is air energy. This person can see a very bright future with you. They, they are falling for you. They feel a soul connection to you. And they want something very nice and balanced here with you. Two of Cups, they want to be in a relationship with you. They want that higher level of commitment. And they're willing to be patient and slow with this Knight of Pentacles and try to get you to open up to them. You, right now, are not seeing them. You can't see them because all you see is the past. And your, your energy is low and there's a, a depressive feeling around you. Um, so, bottom line, you need time to heal. And you need time to realize, Aquarius, that not everybody's out to get you and hurt you. Not everybody's going to hurt you. But you've been hurt more than once, I feel. And you just haven't had a good experience with love itself. But this person is here. They're, they've got your back right here. And they will be patient. They will be patient with you through this healing process. And that's very nice. I'm going to call this love. It's just you're not ready to receive it yet. But when you are ready to receive it, Aquarius, this is a very nice energy around you. All right, Pisces. Love, lust, or loss for Pisces. Love, lust, or loss for Pisces. For Pisces, what is going on? This is for April 10th through the 16th. Love, lust, or... Okay. Oh... We have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I feel like this person knows you're the one and they have not revealed that to you yet. So let's see what's going on. They're, they're pretending like they aren't into you when they are. Let's see what's going on. They're really holding back. Love, lust, or loss for Pisces. Love, lust, or loss for Pisces. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. doesn't resonate please do check your moon your rising and your venus love lust or loss for pisces love lust or loss for pisces for pisces okay They got eyes on you. I feel like this is somebody that either you work with or you go to school with. They have put you up on this pedestal and they're trying to build your cur their courage up. They're trying to build their courage up to um, uh, reveal that they're interested. Okay, so they, they have a lot of respect for you. They, they you know, they kind of watch you. They feel like you could be the one. They're very much interested, very much attracted to you. Um, and they would like a nice partnership here. Three of Pentacles, that is Earth energy. Um, I feel like this is you. And this, this card just came up for Aquarius. You have experienced some disappointments in love in the past, right? But there's somebody new right behind you here. I don't feel the intensity that I felt with Aquarius. I just feel like... <sighs> you're like... <sighs> Is, is this ever going to, am I ever going to, you know, find somebody, right? Well, there's somebody right behind you. You just can't, you're not seeing them. Um, disappointed with love, yes, but I just feel like as soon as this person kind of 
builds up their courage and says something, it's on. All right, and that's exactly what they're doing. You could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart, Pisces. Um, Queen of Wands energy, uh, male or female, absolutely does not matter. This person's building up their courage to express to you what they want, their intention. Um, that's what I'm feeling. So they're, they got to step into their power and make this happen because you're kind of just like not even paying attention right now. So you're the one for them, and they're going to have to take that mask off and say something. And uh, yeah, I do believe that they will. <laughs> I do believe that they will. Ace of Wands, they are going to get this fire started. Um, when the Queen of Wands or even the King of Wands, fig you know, figure out that they want somebody, they go after it. Now the Queen of Wands, they kind of got to build themselves up to do so. And that's exactly what's going on here. So... Ace of Wands, they're coming to get you, Pisces, so buckle up, baby. Love, lust, or loss for Pisces. Um, all that fire, I'm going to say lust. If that's the outcome, that's lust, Pisces. That's lust. We'll see, we'll see how it progresses. All right. Aries. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. April 10th through the 16th. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. For Aries. Okay. <clears throat> This can go several different ways. We have attraction here. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Is this an attraction that you would like to go all the way with type of thing? Is somebody else attached somewhere else type of thing? We have wedding. The situation involves marriage. So let's see what is going on here. Aries. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. If it doesn't resonate, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Love, lust, or loss. Nice. Okay. 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 Um, hesitation here in regards to the situation. I can honestly see this both ways. So we're going to, we're going to read it both ways. There is somebody that you are extraordinarily attracted to, but there's going to be waiting involved. Okay. Um, you're worried this person has other options, but you got love for them, Aries. You know you want them and your head's all lit up. All right, so you got love offers for this person and you're coming towards this person with, a, with love. Offers of love, Knight of Cups, water energy. This person is like, they don't know. They're, their emotions are going to be... A little bit everywhere. You're afraid that they have other options. That kind of a thing. Uh, they're going to have to figure it out. And see if they want the same thing as you do. Seven of Cups. Water energy. What's going to happen here is. Uh, we're getting this party started. And could it lead to something serious? Yes it could. You've been waiting an awful long time. To make this move. And uh, you know this could be vice versa. You, you assign the roles as you wish. But. Um. There's a fire starting here, Aries. There's a fire starting here. Okay. Now, I'm going to call this, at the very least, um, there's potential for love here. But with all this attraction and this Ace of Wands, I'm going to call it lust. Um, second um, feeling that I get, somebody is already attached in a higher level of commitment. Either you or the other person. There's still attraction here. 
whoever is on the outside looking in, there's some sort of mutual attraction going on. Very attra But there's hesitation, right? Uh, because somebody has um, choices between a higher level of commitment or this new attraction. Maybe they're not ha happy in the higher level of commitment, or maybe they're not saying, or maybe they're saying they're not happy in the higher level of commitment. They all say that. Is it true? I don't know. I don't live there. Do you? Seven of Cups. Um, somebody definitely has options between a new attraction and somebody already in a higher level of commitment. Um, an offer is going to be given regardless, and uh, there's going to be some things happening here okay is this also lust yes it is um there's going to be a flame ignited here regardless of who's with who or what's going on um there somebody's deciding i'm not waiting anymore i just want to i just want to be with this person i don't care what the circumstances are careful of that type of karma but anyway it's also lust all right, so Aries, you got two this time because you can see it a, a couple different ways there. All right. Taurus, love, lust, or loss for Taurus. Love, lust, or loss for Taurus, for Taurus. April 10th through the 16th. Love, lust, or loss for Taurus. Love, lust, or loss for Taurus. Okay. <laughs> okay, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Aries just got that. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner useful spirit of fun to shine. So attraction here and playfulness and flirtiness and enjoying each other's company. And the chemistry is nice. And it's, it's good so far, Taurus. I don't know. Lord have mercy. Let's see what's going on. All right. Love, lust, or loss for Taurus. Love, lust, or loss for Taurus. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable for Taurus. If it doesn't resonate, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Love, lust, or loss for Taurus. Love, lust, or loss for Taurus. Oh. This is going to be a huge transformation. I think we're, we, somebody's very much into you. They're being very patient. You're kind of riding the fence about this. Like, am I into them? Am I not into them? Am I into them? Am I not into them? I may have to pull another card on this one. Um, seven of Pentacles, this is Earth. So this person, assign the roles as you wish, this could be you. But this person is putting in a lot of work, a lot of effort. They're expecting a victory. They're putting a lot of time and effort into you because they are attracted to you, Taurus. And they like, they like you. And they want something to happen here between the two of you. Um, all these Pentacles here, you can work with this person. That's for some of you, not all of you. You're riding the fence about this. You're like, I don't know. Am I? Am I into them? Am I not into them? I don't know. I don't know. Two of Pentacles. More Earth energy. They are very focused on you. Very focused on you. So I just feel like they're putting the work in. They're putting the effort in. They're trying to show you that they are in it to win it. They're trying to win you. Okay, now here's the outcome, and I'm going to pull another card on this, and all the rest of the signs don't get mad at me, because this could, this could mean a couple different things. Either you're just simply going to end the whole situation, be like, you know what, I'm not into you, and I'm not trying to lead you on here, 
Okay, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with strong Scorpio in their chart. The other scenario is the whole situation could transform and you could say yes. And uh, we could have a new beginning here. So let's find out. Because you're going to have to make a decision, right? This is for Taurus. This is for Taurus. Please clarify the death card. <laughs> it's a new beginning. It's going to transform. This person's been working right here, manifesting, putting in all this effort towards you. We got the sun card here. This is happiness. This is new beginnings. This is, I'm not single. I'm not a single Taurus anymore. This person's not going to be single anymore. We're going to be together. We're going to be happy. This is a new beginning. Awesome. Death to old ways, new beginnings, right? This person's making it happen. Very good, Taurus. Love, lust, or loss for Taurus. I'm going to call it love. Um, this is pure happiness and joy, and we're having fun, and we're attracted to each other, and we're making it happen. This person's very dedicated to you. I'm calling it love. Nice reading. All right, Gemini. Love, lust, or loss for Gemini. Love, lust, or loss for Gemini. For Gemini. What is going on? Love, lust, or loss for Gemini. Nice. New energy. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. Very nice. And you deserve love. You are lovable. So somebody wants to get to know you. Somebody's trying to break through your walls, Gemini, and know you on a deeper level, right? They know you got a lovable side, and they want to give you um, more. They think you deserve more than what you've been dealt with before. So um, let's see where this is going, Gemini. Love, lust, or loss for Gemini. Love, lust, or loss for Gemini. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. If it doesn't resonate, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Love, lust, or loss for Gemini. Love, lust, or loss for Gemini, for Gemini. Okay. This, this is fire all over this. The attraction is unreal. Um, Gemini, you, I feel like you're just used to being kind of disappointed um, in love itself, you have left not only one, maybe two, three, where you were not fulfilled emotionally speaking, uh, a few situations where you were not fulfilled emotionally and you walked away from that. This person wants to fill your cups, okay? They want to fill your cups, Gemini. All right, so that's what's going on here. They want to give you what you have ne never received before out of a relationship. Eight of Cups, that's water energy. Um, I feel like this person sometimes feels um, unworthy of you. Um, they're trying to build up their courage like the Queen of Wands too. And, they're, and like the Queen of Wands would. Male or female absolutely does not matter. There's fire all over this and a little bit of water. You'd be dealing with a fire sign, somebody with strong fire in their chart. or just, This could just speak of the heat and the passion. Strong Sagittarius energy. Um, anyway, I feel like um, this is also your energy here where you're trying to get your power back and your swagger back and get to know some new energy. Okay, now... 
I feel like this person's trying to get their courage up, trying to make it happen with you. They're very attracted to you. Very attracted to you. Um, the passion is not missing out of this situation. Knight of Wands, definitely there could be a distance, physical distance here between the two of you. They could see you as running a little bit hot and cold, Gemini, because of all the things that you've been through. Like you, you are on fire one minute and then you cool off the next, right? They could see that. It's kind of throwing them off their game, but it'll be all right. Why? Because we got the Ace of Wands here yet again. How many times is this Ace of Wands going to come out in the outcome for everyone? What is going on? <laughs> Are we all being let out of staycation all of a sudden? Is that what's going on? Is it like staycation over and everybody's just ready to do whatever, if you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, you've been, if you're picking up what I'm putting down here, what is happening with this Ace of Wands? So there's chemistry here. There's attraction here. And we're going to, yet again, get this flame going. How many times am I going to say that today? Um... Love, lust, or loss for Gemini. Uh, lust. Lust. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. All right. Cancer. Love, lust, or loss for Cancer. Love, lust, or loss for Cancer. April 10th through the 16th. Love, lust, or loss for Cancer. What is going on with Cancer? Love, lust, or loss for Cancer. Whew. Damn, that's intense. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy and soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So, okay, I'm, let's just put it real simple. Your soulmate needs to release their ex or you need to release your ex so you and your soulmate can be together. Oh, Lord. Okay. If that ace of one pops out again, I'm going to pass out. Love, lust, or loss for cancer. Love, lust, or loss for cancer. Card for you, card for them, and then the outcome. Keep in mind, the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. If it does not resonate, check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Love, lust, or loss for cancer. Love, lust, or loss for cancer. Guarded. Too many people in this equation. Somebody's going to have to make a choice. I mean, it's literally that simple. Too many cooks in this kitchen. The X is still a factor here. They need to be released. Somebody's going to have to follow their heart towards their soulmate. And the X is not the soulmate. You're the soulmate, Cancer. The devil card. Uh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody with strong Capricorn in their chart. Too many people involved in this equation. And it's it sucks because you got a soulmate situation going on. Um, but this you're not allowing this person completely into your heart space until they make a choice. So you have set boundaries here. There is boundaries here. And the longer you have to wait, the more hurt and the taller these walls are growing. Nine of Wands. Wounded Warrior card. The person is still attached. Right? The Hierophant. They're still in a higher level of commitment. They need to make up their mind on what they want to do here. Um, Taurus Energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus or somebody with strong Taurus in their chart. They're going to have to follow their heart towards a true connection. What is it going to be? I feel like this X energy is very toxic. I do. I, I, and that's very blatant here with the devil card and, and release. It's time for them to release this. It's time for them to pursue a higher level of commitment with you, with their soulmate. It's time for them to follow their heart with this lover's card. 
um, it's a very strong connection, a very strong tie that you have with this person. That's, I mean, you're the only one that got this soulmate card. It's very, it's, it's like a rarity these days that that card pops up. So, um, the decision needs to be made. The connection's very strong. Too many people here right now. Um, I can't call it a loss because I do believe that this person is going to follow their heart towards you, towards their soulmate. So I'm going to call it love, Cancer. Okay. All right. Leo. Love, lust, or loss for Leo. Love, lust, or loss for Leo. April 10th through the 16th. Love, lust, or loss for Leo. Oops. Sorry about that. That was Maggie. And um, she's barking at the wind. The wind is howling here. And it got so cold last night. So we're going to start Leo all over. All right. So this is for Leo. Love, lust, or loss for Leo. April 10th through the 16th. Love, lust, or loss for Leo. Love, lust, or loss for Leo. For Leo. What is going on? Love, lust, or loss for Leo. Okay. Nice. So um, this person could possibly live at a distance from you with this card, um, or there's physical distance here between the two of you, but the connection's very, very strong. Uh, maybe you guys have experienced a little bit of drama, but we're moving past that. To me, that's very Six of Swords in the Tarot, this Honeymoon card. Um, the connection that you share with this person is unbelievable, right? Past life relationship, you have known each other before. Your souls recognize each other, and you feel very comfortable and at ease and at home with this person. It's like you've known them all your life, right? So let's see what's going on here. Love, lust, or loss for Leo. Love, lust, or loss for Leo. April 6th, April 10th through the 16th. Card for you, card for them and the outcome. Keep in mind the energies can be. Whoops. Vice versa or interchangeable. If it doesn't resonate, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Love, lust, or loss for Leo. Love, lust, or loss for Leo. Communication. Decisions. Okay, so we don't want to have any regrets here. There's some regrets. Um, um, there's going to be a reunion here between you and this person. Okay, there's physical and possible emotional distance here between the two of you, but you've shared many lives together. And there is going to be a reunion here between the two of you with this Three of Cups, okay? Um, you will come together again. There's going to be communication here um, and a lot of back and forth communication here between the two of you. Um, I think it's going to be up to you to decide on what you want to do with this. This person's going to be reaching out. Eight of Wands, that is fire energy. So communica communication coming in. Um, you're going to have to decide what you want to do here with this situation, Leo. The ball's in your court. We have the two of wands here. Um, do you want to reunite with this person? Do you want to travel to see this person? Do you want to have a face-to-face -face conversation with this person? Um, it's up to you to decide here. Um, the outcome here is I feel like there was some drama here between you and this individual. Okay? And it's still... The situation still makes you sad, but I feel like this person wants to fix things. They want to reunite with you and celebrate with you again. Can they make that happen with you? 
after they put you in such a state of sadness and depression. I don't know. I, I do feel like, um, I do feel like when the time is right, um, you're going to meet up with this person and have a conversation with them. I do. A face-to-face -face conversation with them. Feel out their energy f and see how you feel uh, when you're around them again. Because it may have changed. It may have changed. I feel like it. I don't know if you're going to feel the same. The, the same way that you used to. But some of you may. Some of you may not. Um, it's not a loss yet. I'm going to call it love because of the three of cups in a past life relationship. There's love there. Has it changed? Has it turned into something different? All right. Virgo. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. April 10th through the 16th. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. What is going on with Virgo? Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. Ooh, okay. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Somebody else got this, but I can't remember who. And calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, a couple different things going on here. So, we're healing from the X, we're releasing the X, and we're trying to call in new energy, Virgo. So, that's nice. We're trying to manifest a true soulmate. So, I feel like this is a step in the right direction. Let's see what's going on here strong law of attraction card this is for virgo love lust or loss for virgo card for you card for them and then the outcome keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable if it doesn't resonate please do check your moon your rising and your venus Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. Spiritual growth. Ooh, okay, so mm, there is a very, very sneaky ex trying to come back in. Okay, you're on a whole other journey here, Virgo. You're trying to call in somebody else. And, you have taken a seat back on your throne. You're not even, I don't even think so. But this past person can't let go. You're very guarded against them. You know you there's trust issues here with this person. You're trying to release them. They cannot release you. They cannot release you. Um, so sneaky. They haven't been 100%. They known as the thief card, right? Seven of Swords is known as the thief card in the tarot. So... Not the most trustworthy of people. And it's probably why you're trying to release them and heal from them and move on from them. And I think that's exactly what you're doing because you're coming through as the empress that you are. Virgo, male or female, absolutely does not matter. You're taking a seat back on your throne. You're working on your own spiritual journey here. You're the one that's trying to call in new, new, calling in your soulmate, trying to do you know maybe vision boards you want some new energy around you you know that this ex is just like oh. do they want another chance at uh, potential for growth here with you yes they do you could be dealing with a libra you could be dealing with a taurus or somebody with strong libra or taurus in their chart you are you've risen above this person you've outgrown them basically are they going to try to come back? Yes, they are. And this isn't, um, 
this is not, you know, somebody, you know, maybe nice from your past and, or this and that. Sometimes I feel that or a past life can I, this is the ex trying to come back. Yeah. Six of cups, somebody returning and it is the ex I feel it with this one. Six of Cups, that's water energy. You're very guarded against this person. You're very stingy with your emotions when it comes to this person. And you have um, shields up around your heart chakras. They are not allowed in. They themselves are having a hard time letting go of you. But they. I just don't feel like they're going to have much choice here in the matter. Um, because you're moving on to other things. You're calling in new energy towards you. So love, lust, or loss for Virgo. That is a loss. But for the ex, you're moving on. You've outgrown this person. Okay. All right, everyone. That is your Love, Lust, or Loss readings for April 10th through the 16th. I hope you have enjoyed them. I'm sorry I couldn't be live today. Not sure what's going on, like I said at the beginning of the video. Um, so we're going to do a premiere. Um, a pre-recorded premiere. This isn't live. This is pre-recorded. Um, if anybody out there while we were doing the premiere sent a super chat, I thank you. Um, moderators, if you were here helping out, I thank you as well. <laughs> um, you guys, um, it takes a while to uh, upload such a long video, so I hope you're bearing with me out there and we're, we're going to get this done today for you, okay? Um, so you all take it easy. And you have a beautiful weekend. Stay safe out there. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Okay? Take care. And God bless.